This is Hot Dog Street Stories on National Cybercast Entertainment Network. Let's see, for those out there that are uh, inclined to take your own life, please do it right. Uh, I was rolling down the road on my bike and I get flagged down by a group of squads. And in the process of losing their lunch from laughing so hard, they informed me that uh, what they had was an attempted uh, suicide. So being interested, I sashayed over there and up against the wall was a gentleman laying there and at first I thought that he was hit by a bus or he attempted to commit suicide by running in front of a bus both legs were broken looked like a hip was busted bleeding from the mouth the nose and the ears and the eyes I thought well okay this is pretty good you know suicide running in the front of a bus I mean I would have picked a train or something else a little less messy but he was still alive at which point in time I said, no, no, they told me to look closer. So I looked a little closer and with a flashlight, it was about three in the morning, I noticed a rope around his neck. Well, I looked at the rope, it went all the way up to the uh, second floor of this apartment building. Apparently what he had tried to do was hang himself. He took the rope, tied a perfect noose around his neck, tied the end of the rope to the hot water heater inside of the apartment and then dove out the window. Unfortunately, he didn't measure the rope, and all he ended up doing was splatting on the sidewalk, breaking his legs and his arms, and guess where he ended up going? County Hospital, where they take good care of you. So if you're going to take and do yourselves in, folks, at least do it right. Let's see, let's go into the interesting part of stories. Those other ones were not bad. But people seem to have a uh, pennant to always hearing about people exposing themselves. Well, let's see, we had a call one night on a peeping Tom. We went over and as we crept up, uh, sure enough, there was a uh, male, late 20s, standing outside of the room. Well, as we crept up on him, we were wondering naturally, what was he peeking at? And lo and behold, there was a rather interesting looking subject in there. Um, and it looked like she was playing to a full house. Uh, in the process, the officer tripped over the garden hose, fell onto the peeping Tom, both went crashing through the window. Uh, on the downside of this, uh, the couple, it seems, it was her husband, peeping in on his wife, and they seem to enjoy it. They're trying to take and sue the officer now, saying that he did irreparable damage to their sex life. Um, another call that we receive. Wintertime usually is when it's interesting. You get to see some unusual things. Uh, this was in February. It was wintertime. Got a call on a man exposing himself. Well, the officer went, answered the call. He came upon a 40-year-old male. And apparently his um, penis was stuck to the door of his car. His lock had frozen, and in an attempt to unfreeze his lock, he tried taking a whiz on the lock, thinking it would freeze the lock. In the process, because it was cold, it's kind of like the old popsicle tongue theory, get your tongue stuck to a popsicle. Well, he got more than his tongue stuck to a popsicle. Uh, the fire department was called and they did free the man shortly afterwards. Um, another call that came out, a um, woman came running out of her house in a bathrobe. A call was made to the police that her husband was trapped. A call was made to the police and upon coming up, the lady came out of the house wrapped in a bath towel, screaming, it's got him by his testicles. Well, this brought up an interesting point, and upon entering the uh, house, they had just put a hot tub and jacuzzi in the back. People with these, beware. 
On these hot tubs and jacuzzis, you have inlets and outlets. Most of the time, the inlets and outlets have a screen or cover on them. Uh, unfortunately, this one in particular did not have a cover on it, and it, it succeeded in sucking both of his testicles up through the intake, trapping them. Uh, other than his immediate problem of either being uh, turned into a capon or drowning in a hot tub, the uh, fire department was called out to assist the police. They drained the hot tub immediately, <coughs> and um, the only unfortunate part was they had to break the deck loose to get to the pipe that was holding him captive. Unfortunately, the intake on the tub was a little bit smaller, and at that point in time, they had swollen in size. The uh, fire department had to cut the pipe and the hot tub, or that section of the hot tub, to get him out. At which point in time, they took him out pretty much like that on a stretcher. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the only thing that they could do at the time was ask his wife if she wanted to hold ice on there to maybe reduce the swelling until they could get it to the hospital and split the pipe and relieve him uh, from his agony.